Now let's just take a look at the files, how we've included them and where. We've obviously included jQuery.js, we've included plugin.js here, and we've included ext.js. So plugin is our plugin declaration and how our plugin works. At the moment it just alerts something out. And ext is where we're going to be calling our plugin. Uh, or rather where we're going to be making use of our plugin. Okay, so there's nothing really else we need to do on this page. Obviously, you need a title attribute for the, the link that you're going to be using. Uh, but inside ext.js, we want to go ahead and actually call our plugin to make sure it's working, so to alert this out. So the first thing we want to go ahead and do is make sure the DOM is loaded, uh, i.e. our document is ready. So we want to say document.ready. So inside this event handler, we want to go ahead and create a function. And we'll just pull that down so it just makes it a little bit uh, neater and uh, easier to read. Okay, so now what we want to do is go ahead and apply our plugin that we've created called hover text uh, to an element on our page. So we need to use a jQuery selector. And I'm going to apply these to all A tags because I'm going to assume that the only A tags found on a user's page are links uh, themselves. So what we want to go ahead and do is use a jQuery selector and just write A and this will select all A elements on a page. Uh, and then we just do dot and how we would usually use uh, any kind of functionality in jQuery whether it be part of the standard library uh, or any other plugins that we've used. So we just call the function hover text. Uh, so we just use hover text like this afterwards and obviously our parentheses here. Uh, like I said before we're not supplying any parameters uh, but if we were they would go in there. Okay, so now that this is done, when the document is ready, uh, we actually apply this uh, plugin to all A tags, uh, and therefore what's going to happen is we're just going to alert out working. So let's go ahead and just take a look at that. Uh, you can see that we've got this dialog box appear now. So we know that our uh, plugin is actually working because we have this alert out here. Uh, however, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that now. Okay, so the first step uh, that we want to take is actually apply the uh, div uh, to to the page. We want to put this div that we've created in style.css to the page uh, and we're going to do this after our link. Now it doesn't really matter where we place it because we're going to position it dynamically um, but we, what we want to go ahead and do is reference this uh, and this uh, applies to this here. So anything we call in our uh, essentially what is a function in our plugin uh, we apply it to the current element that we're using the plugin on. So this will apply to all H, H tags. And we want to go and use after in jQuery uh, to apply some HTML code to the page. So we create our div here, uh, or we type out our div declaration in here, and we want to go ahead and set the ID of this to hover text. Now setting the ID of this to hover text will obviously pick this up uh, where we created it in style.css. Let's just go and open that once again. So it will apply this here, uh, or all these um, you know options and values to our uh, div here. So now what we see on the page is when we refresh, we get this little box just appear here. Now we need to make a change to style.css. I, I know I said we weren't going to use it, uh, but we do want to set uh, the uh, div to be uh, invisible almost. So we're just going to say display none. So this just won't display it on the page, you'll just have uh, nothing displayed. Okay, uh, also this won't interfere with any other elements on your page, so you don't need to worry about this actually taking up any space. Because it's um, visibility is set to none, or the display is set to none, uh, it essentially is not on our document. So we've uh, applied this here afterwards. It's there, but it can't be seen, uh, and it doesn't interact in uh, with anything else. Uh, so now that we've applied this div, we can go ahead and later on apply some text to it and set the top and the left dynamically to follow the mouse. Now the next step is to go ahead and get the title from the um, the element that you've selected and applied this plugin to. So in this case, it's going to be the title here because we've applied it to all A tags. Now the flexibility issue in this plugin is that if we weren't using uh, the this keyword like this, uh, we would, uh, you know, be displaying the title for all links because we've selected all links. So we need to make sure we're using this instead. Now we could go ahead and say a dot attribute title, and what that would take do is take the title attribute from all a elements. 
but because we've applied it to that already we want to make this unique by writing this so it will only take it from the cur current uh, element that we ha uh, are applying this to so if there are three links on the page uh, each attribute will be different by using the this uh, selector or the this keyword so we've gone and get the uh, we've gone and got the title. We need to make sure that the title has actually been defined. We don't want to display uh, this div if the title hasn't been defined. So we need to check if it, first of all the title is undefined, and second of all the title doesn't equal nothing. Uh, and by this I mean uh, let's just give an example. This would be undefined if we didn't have it actually defined within our a tag. And if we had this set to nothing, uh, then in that circumstance, we wouldn't want to output this div and we wouldn't want to put any text in it because there's no real text to put inside. So we need to make sure that we uh, handle this within our plugin just to make the user experience a lot better. So we want to create an if statement uh, and we want to inside of the condition, first of all, check that the title is not equal to undefined uh, and also or the title doesn't equal nothing. So we've already established the uh, title here by using the title attribute. So we want to make sure it doesn't equal undefined or the title doesn't equal nothing. So just nothing inside some tags there. Uh, and this will just mean that we don't get this the same effect uh, if uh, you know what I demonstrated earlier here uh, wasn't available. So if it hadn't been defined or it was nothing. Okay, so inside of here, we want to go ahead and actually start to create an event handler for when the mouse goes over a link, because that's the only time we want to go ahead and actually display this div in the mouse position. So again, we use this to select the current link or the current element that we're uh, over. And we want to use the mouse move uh, event handler. Now we do more or less exactly, oh, sorry, that's just jumped over there. 